Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from Carwow. So I'm sat in a Bentley Continental GT Speed and next to me is an Aston Martin DBS and next to that is a Ferrari Roma. And we're gonna have a drag race. So let me tell you about this Bentley. It's got a six litre W12, which puts out 659 horsepower and 900 Newton meters of torque. It drives all four wheels for an eight speed dual clutch automatic gearbox with launch control. This thing is a little bit on the heavy side though. It weighs in at 2,200 and 70 kilograms but that's because it's packed full of luscious leather and luxuriousnessnessness quite interesting color actually would you have a bentley in this color especially with this matching interior i kind of like it anyway <laughs> let me continue with the stats price of this car starts at two hundred and ten thousand pounds let's move on to the aston martin so it has a 5.2 litre twin turbo v12 it puts out 715 horsepower and 900 newton meters of torque it drives the rear wheels only via an eight speed torque converter automatic gearbox with no launch control oh dear it's going to struggle however it's a lot lighter than this it weighs in at 1800 kilos the Aston Martin normally costs £250,000, however that one is a little bit special. It's a Concorde edition, it's one of ten built, and it has some special Concorde features, such as a little Concorde plate in the side strakes. It's got a registration down the side, GBOAF, which is the registration of one of the Concorde planes. Its exhaust pipes mimic the afterburners on a Concorde. Inside it's got the mat from a Concorde and lots of little planes in there as well. As a result, that thing's super rare and it costs £340,000. Finally then, we come to the cheapest car, if ever a Ferrari could be considered cheap. The Ferrari Roma costs just £170,000. It has a 3.9 litre twin turbo V8 with 620 horsepower and 760 newton meters of torque and it weighs 1,570 kilos, so it's the lightest car here. It has an eight-speed dual clutch automatic gearbox with launch control. That car has been linked to us by a chap called Ken Shakes and you can follow him on Instagram at ken.shakes. The link is in the description, please go there there, check out his Instagram and give him a like on his latest post and say thanks for lending Matt your cars because it'll encourage him and others to lend us more cars for you to watch. I'd also like to say thank you to SCC Private Members.com for lending us the Aston Martin. A link to their website is in the description as well and they are a car club that do high-end car tours. If you found all those stats a little bit confusing, if you want to compare the cars side by side, I'm going to put a panel up on the screen now so if you pause the video you can look at it. Pause. Now, before we go any further, I just want to let you know that if you're thinking of selling your current car, you can now do it through CarWow. All you have to do is upload some photos and give a brief description, and then our dealers will bid on your car to make sure you get a good price for it, and then you can choose whichever dealer you sell it to, and they'll come to your house, take your car away, and put the money straight into your account. It's dead easy. If you want to do that now, find out a bit more about it, click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description below. Alternatively, you can do it at a later date by simply Googling Wow Me Car Wow and we'll wow you. Anyway, let's race. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Now, before we race, we're going to do the customary CarWow sound check, so I'm going to rev up this Bentley. I've got it in sports mode, and I've given it some revs, and I've got a soft limiter at 3,000 RPM, which is spoiling all my fun. But what revs I can play with, this car seems pretty fruity and every time I press the accelerator the whole chassis is just rocking from the inertia of that huge W12. Let's have a listen to the Aston Martin and its V12. Go on, can you rev up that Aston? Oh yeah. That's, that, that is music to my ears. Finally then, let's have a listen to that Roma. That's good too. Three, two, one. Oh, it hooked up this did. Struggled with traction. On the change from first to second, can I beat that Roma? It's gonna be close. Whoa, 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 that was close. I think the Roma just had it. This just faltered a little bit. Uh, the DBS. <laughs> 
that thing's always struggling to put its power down when it's launching. How was that for you, Ferrari? I think you might have won that. Was your launch good? Yeah, launch was pretty clean. I think I might have just picked you up the line, but yeah, good launch. How about for you, Aston? Well, it was fun, but uh, in terms of traction, it doesn't really put the power down very well. In track mode, it just it can't get the power down like you two can. Would you like another go at it? Yeah, I always want another go at it. Clean launch. It's an easy win. Easy win. Very clean launch. Super nice that was. I changed it, I put it in stability off, and therefore it didn't fault when it changed gear when he lost traction a bit. I like that. Yeah, I got a better launch there, Ferrari, and so I battered you. See, I had a worse launch that time, Ralph. <laughs> That'll be why. Aston, similar? <laughs> I was really happy with my launch. I, I kind of kept up with the Ferrari, but now I've just found out he had a bad launch, so that's heartbreaking. Do you know what? Seeing as it's one each to me and the Ferrari, we've got to do a decider. Absolutely. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Oof, another good launch here. Oh, the Aston's done a better job this time. Here comes the Ferrari now, he's going to be close. Come on, come on, come on, Bentley. Come on for Britain. Oh, I was so close. I think he had an all right launch, and so did the Aston. Do you know what, guys? I think that was the most equal launch we could have had. The Ferrari seemed to take off well. The Aston took off as well as it could, and I had a decent launch as well. Do you concur, Aston Martin? Yeah, I think that was spot on. This is definitely on the third launch now with the heat and the tyres. That's the best one it's had, and I think that's as good as it's going to be. How about you, Ferrari? It was close. I thought you were reeling me in, but I just about managed to sneak you on the line, I think. I think you're right, Matt. I think he just hit me over the line. Four-wheel drive for you. Maybe the biggest, maybe the heaviest, maybe the most luxurious, but in a drag race, it is the quickest. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Bentley won, completing the standing quarter mile in 11.4 seconds. The Ferrari took 11.5 seconds, and the Aston was last, finishing in a time of 11.7 seconds. Now we're going to have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour with the cars in comfort mode, automatic mode for the gearbox. I'm going to get to 50 and count it in. So here we are. Three, two, one, go. Yes, definitely comfort mode in the Bentley. It had to kick down. It took a while and everyone's gone. Bye. 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 Oh dear. Going too quick for the tyre pressures. It's on the normal setting. You have different settings in Bentleys. So here comes the mile. What's winning between those two cars? I don't know. So then, what happened in that race? I mean, I basically got dropped. This took what seemed like forever to kick down compared to the other two cars. So Ferrari, was your gearbox really responsive in drive when you kicked down and did you manage to beat the Aston to the half mile and the mile? So the Ferrari kicked down quite quickly, but then as it got towards the top of third, it sort of stuttered a little bit and then shifted up. At the half mile, I believe the Aston was still ahead of me, but by the time we got to the end of the runway, I was pretty far clear of the Aston. And I was just a distant memory. Poor me. Okay, now we have another rolling race, once again from 50 miles an hour, though this time we're in sports mode and locked in third gear. So, into third, get up to 50, I'm going to call it in. What's going to happen this time? Three, two, one, go. Oh, good pickup. It's a bit more even now. I don't know what happened to Aston Martin, it looked like he forgot to accelerate. <laughs> Oh, tyre pressures again, they're fine. Come on. 
Aston Martin. You seem to step ahead of me a little bit, but not too much. And then it, there's like there's a pause, like you forgot to change gear. What happened? It was going really well, and then we just had a traction issue. It just hit a bit of TC when I shifted up. I think that was third to fourth. I shifted up, got a bit of a stutter on traction, but that was it. Yeah. <laughs> From third to fourth, there was a traction issue. Oh my god. Anyway, you did beat me to the half mile and to the mile, but the Ferrari beat you, didn't it? did beat me and even if I didn't grab that traction issue I think the Ferrari was just long gone at that stage but this in full Concorde spec felt like it was trying to take off anyway to be honest with you it's a good gag good gag I like that I appreciate that okay now we're going to do a brake test from 100 miles an hour when we reach the line full emergency stop which car will stop in the shortest distance we're all on carbon ceramic brakes if that's of interest to you here comes the line <laughs> The heaviest car lost should be fair on this car it is on all season tires both of those are on summer tires so they will break a little bit better but i think weight was the major issue here so it looked like the ferrari were and the aston was second and i was definitely last oh well now if you're after a sporty coupe but you want one that's a lot more affordable than these three i've found an offer on one through car wow. if you want to find out what the car is and the offer click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description below to get a car wow. anyway i hope you all enjoyed the video if you did give it a like if you want to watch some more videos click on those windows there and if you click on that box there you can get a car wow to sell your car through us all you have to do is upload some photos give a brief description and our dealers will bid on your car to make sure you get a great price for it thanks for watching